Hey you guys, welcome back. So, I have a lot to catch you up on because I have not filmed for five days. And I'm worried about getting behind on my channel here. Life has been somewhat chaotic, but also somewhat boring. So, I'm gonna just, I've gotta run to Costco right now, but I'm all alone. So you don't get to have the wonderful Jason join us today. I don't know if I'll take you around Costco or not. I'm just gonna kinda play it by ear. A lot has happened since we last chatted. Um, my car is not even here in the garage. Can you see all the tools down here? My friend Shane, um, the person that we borrowed the car from. Hang on, let me do the garage door here. You can't see our password. So, hang on, let me get in the car really quick and then I'll explain everything that's going on. All right, so let me explain a few things. Um, really quick before we head over to Costco. So the last time you guys saw us, we had gone out on a date. When I got home from that date, uh, we went to bed, everything was fine. I woke up at midnight, one in the morning, and my stomach was in a knot. And I knew, I was like, oh, something's happening. I went back to sleep, I woke up at three in the morning, which, which was almost exactly eight hours after we ate, and I was sick and I knew that I had food po food poisoning. The timing of it was just too perfectly timed to like think that it was anything different. So I just kinda, I dealt with it. I was sick one time, but more because I kinda forced myself to be sick because I, need, I needed it out of my system. I needed to like, just, I needed it out of my system. So then I spent all of Father's Day in bed, like all of Father's Day in bed. I don't think I came downstairs till four o'clock in the afternoon. Jason did everything. He got the kids up, he got them breakfast, he got them ready for church. He went to church for an hour, and then because Chelsea fell asleep on the couch, on the pew at church, because her stomach hurt and she just was tired, I think, he decided to just bring them all home after the first hour of church. Um, he didn't know exactly what was wrong with me because I wasn't awake enough and well enough to kind of tell him what was going on. He just knew I was sick. So he thought that they had like a little stomach bug themselves. So he brought everyone home, got them all lunch. He ended up making like five batches of pancakes to put in the freezer. He like really went way overboard. He cleaned up the kitchen. Our disposal is broken, or it was at the time, and he tried to fix that and it didn't work. So he kind of did like everything, which is why I truly wanted to celebrate Father's Day with him, but he ended up kind of proving why he's such a great father by doing everything, which I thought was kind of ironic. You know, just kind of went through the day. Chelsea ended up staying home from school the next day, so I didn't film that day because I was still recovering, so we both stayed on the couch um, on Monday and kind of got better. And then Tuesday, I was just barely feeling better, and Ashley stayed home from school because she had a stomach ache. So you can kind of see where this is going. I thought, okay, did I catch a bug right as I'm getting this food poisoning and then the girls have something. So I still don't know what it was. I think they had a very mild version of, a, of some virus, some stomach virus, because it never actually turned into anything. They just both stayed home for a day, rested, and then they were fine. Yesterday, Tuesday, I guess, so today is Thursday. So Tuesday, I felt like I was getting better, but then I felt like I was getting pink eye, because my neighbor just got it, her kids just got it, and they let my kids go play and I was irritated. And so I just felt like we brought that right back to our house. So I was super paranoid that I had pink eye, had to cancel all these plans for me to be in charge of an event that I was supposed to be in charge of for church. So I had to have my whole committee kind of step up to the plate and they did it all for me. But then three of our committee members all got sick, including and not including me. It was just like this like an ongoing hit of everyone getting sick. And so um, I don't think I've gotten a pink eye, so I don't think I'm contagious. I don't think it turned into anything. I think I was just being paranoid with any itch of my eye. I was getting kind of freaked out by it, but I think I'm fine. But yesterday, like I said, I was super cautious about it, and so I stayed home. Anyway, this is just a long, I just wanted to catch you up because I haven't filmed for a lot of long time. But, okay, so that catches you up. So we're up to Thursday. Jason's a normal day off, but in case you don't know, in case you are new, we own our own business. We lost an employee two weeks ago, hired a new employee. He is now in full force to train her and we don't just, we sell shoes. We own a shoe store um, and it's not a normal shoe store. We are trained by doctors and, and podiatrists and podor podorthists and 
we really like fit you into the shoe. It's a whole other thing. If Jason ever wants to talk about our business, he can. But you'd have to be in the Seattle area to ever be able to take advantage of it because we do not sell online, which is completely not the point of what we do. So he has to really train this employee to like know how to fit shoes to people's feet and what their problems could be and all that kind of stuff. So that's why he's working six days a week for the indefinite amount of time that he is because um, we have to make sure she's trained the right way from the very beginning. So he is at work today. He's going to try and leave early, just like an hour or two, just to come home and have a little bit of extra time today. I'm not holding out on it and there's nothing huge happening tonight. It's overcast and cold. Like my toes are freezing cold. And so that he's not missing out on any summer activities. The kids are still in school and we're on nighttime schedules tonight for school. So there's nothing fancy going on. Car chat done. Let's go to Costco because that's a little bit more interesting. I don't know what I have to do after that. Let's just, let's just go to Costco. Costco is always going to make the day better, right? Um, really quick, I forgot to tell you. My car was parked outside of our garage and I, all those tools are in the garage because our friend Shane, who is a mechanic and one of our good friends, he's fixing someone else's car in our garage. His garage has another car in it and he's not quite done with it. Um, they got done at like 10.30 last night and he's like, I'm too tired to put all my to tools away. And I was too tired to bring my car in and they might have to come back and work on the car again tonight. So anyway, that's what the tools are for and that's why my car was parked outside. But it worked better because then I had better light. Like, I don't have right now. So, let's go. Alright, so we're at Costco. While we wait for that parking spot, I just want to show you what this weather is going to look like for us. 59 degrees today. We're at June, what, 15th? I don't even know what the date is anymore. Something like that. Um, so, this is today. We're going to have a high of 69. We have decent weather through the weekend, so I might be able to go to that volleyball thing down at the lake on Saturday. I don't think I talked to you about that. Then look, this is the last week of school for the kids. Rain and 66, so they're out next Friday. And hopefully we actually get some sunny weather so we can go to the lake on Saturday, but I doubt it. And then look at that, it's already the 4th of July. It's ridiculous. How cute are these? And I'm realizing something. Yes, Jason, you can laugh at me all you want, but I do enjoy having him home. I'm not gonna lie. He, um, I get bored. When you have kids at home all the time and you think, oh, when I'm home alone by myself, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm not, this year has been nice. Ashley's been in school all year long. All my kids have been in school all year long. We are literally down to the last few days of school and I am glad that they're almost done with school because I'm bored. Like I, I literally only have Costco to do today and I, I'm bored. I don't have a project that I'm working on. I don't want to start a big project because we're going on vacation in like two and a half weeks and don't want to get in, into anything really big right now, but I don't know, I'm just bored and um, that's a problem. So I'm glad summer is starting, but I do miss Jason being here. Having an adult to talk to really helps, even if you're not doing anything spectacular. So kudos to Jason for being there and taking days off during the week. And my head is all cut off. I'll put these away. I got yummy fruit. I got oranges, or I got oranges and bananas, and these apricots and strawberries, and I got some artichokes. I hate making lunch at home. I think I've said this before. I hate it. So I got some artichokes in the hope that I will make lunch at home more, especially going into the summertime. 
so that we don't go and eat out. Anyway, I'm gonna finish doing this and probably wait until the kids get home from school because like I'm not doing anything fun. I'm not doing anything interesting, so. Mom life. didn't get her like not even if I if I like slowed this down I don't even think she flinched she just like turned and looked at me with like evil teenage eyes you doing good yeah. you're not mad at me for forgetting to not get your yearbook anymore because no. I got it actually right I got it before school started it's with all the face or whatever. I know you guys having a good day yeah that hurts did you say your foot hurts or your butt hurts? My foot hurts. <laughs> okay. This is why we never have strawberries. I mean, <laughs> they're going to be gone in like one night. So Abby and Kaylee got home and Abby said that's all of her mess from her locker. Oh, that's cute. It's all of her friends. So they had locker clean out today. So this is what's in her locker. I'm kind of scared to see what's in her bag. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a bag, what's in our bag video or something once they're all done with their bags. But she never even used that. Look how cute that is. She'll use that in her room now though. Mess. Hey, sorry. He came early. Thanks. Did you get a yearbook? Yeah. Yes. Chelsea, Everyone was worried mommy didn't pay for one. Chelsea got hers? I don't know. We can't show the school name, but we can show your, that's the fifth grade class picture, yeah, huh? Yeah, that uh, Kennedy. That's cute. You had a good day? Yeah. And look. Is there, you, is there Kennedy in there? Yeah. Where is she? Um, she's right, right. Anyway, did you have a good day? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I found her. That's Chelsea's friend who's going into sixth grade, right? Yeah. Actually, Abby's. Let's go say hi to Chelsea really quick. So, you should eat your lunch at school. Whatever. Okay, maybe that's why you're crabby. Not crabby. Are you having fun? Okay, eat your snack. Do you have a water? And you got a yearbook too, right? Okay. <laughs> Did you make this? Yeah, and then the wings are like... Well, it's like 3D. 2D, I guess that would be. That's really cute, kiddo. He colored that really cute. Yeah, like... Okay, so Ashley's learning how to cut into little plum apricots. Yeah. Okay, now you turn it over. Yeah, but I don't okay, know turn it over. do it. Did you cut right here? See, that's a little butt cheek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right here. Cut right across that little divot. Okay, yep. And I can't feel it. I know, yeah, and then you stick your finger down in there. <gasps> Still in there. Yeah, and then you pull that nut out. There. It's better than the other one. It's like I have a piece on it. That's okay. But I don't want so she's gonna make her little apricots here. And then you wanna sprinkle some sugar on them? Yeah. You have a sniffly nose? Yeah. <laughs> okay, gross. You need to wash your arm now, Goober. Okay, so Ashley, tell them what happened this morning. Well, um, Mom comes into her room right when we're asleep and then said, um, we're late to go to school. And then and then she said, get your clothes on and come down for breakfast. How late were we for school? Uh, six. So, they, well, I don't want to give away bus times, <laughs> but basically I woke up 10 minutes before the first alarm goes off to go to the bus stop, right? Yeah. Did we make it? Yeah. We totally made it. We made it. We got up, we got dressed, we brushed hair, we ran downstairs. They ate their breakfast. Well, no, they didn't eat. They helped me pack their lunches. 
And then we put it in And then we the put their cereal in a bag. They drink drink a milk, right? Yeah, uh, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. I made a breakfast drink for them. And then we did hair. Yeah, for me. At the bus stop. Oh my goodness, your nose is gross. <laughs> so we did our hair at the bus stop. Yeah. But we totally made it. And then the bus was a few minutes late. So we actually had like an extra five minutes, right? Tomorrow, she said, when we have more time, she wants these in her lunch, right? Not like sugar. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to put more sugar on. And I'm going to go ahead and make you and Chelsea some dinner because I think yeah. you're hungry. Very hungry. Now? Gross. <laughs> All right, so we just played with our friends again, right? Yeah. Their dad was here cleaning up his tools from last night. Mm -hmm. We, her friend, um, used our garage last night to fix someone's car. So they brought their friends over, or his kids over to play. Yeah, I walk. Okay, so Chelsea, you tonight get to be the one to say goodnight to us. Goodnight. Are you tired? I'm losing my voice a lot. Oh. Drink more. Let's get you some vitamins and no, some water. No, she drinks plenty. I think she's legit losing her voice. Okay, send us. Out. Good night. Oh gosh, she's <laughs> tired. Okay, you. Good night. Let's get you to bed. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Boo.